Hello guys, welcome to the Rachana Sharira lecture series. In this video, we are going to study about Asti Sharira. This topic includes some of the points which are enumeration of Asti, formation of Asti, importance of Asti that is Asti Karya, Asti Swarupa, Asti Prakara that is nothing but types of Asti and it is a distribution and its clinical aspect as well, uh, the clinical anatomy of Asti. So let's start. Firstly, Vyutpatti, the derivation of Asti. Asyate as plus thin, mamsabhyan nantare sthe iti. Means, the word Asti is derived from Asyate dhatuhu, Asyate. In Asyate, As means existence and Sthin means to stay. Okay. Literally, the meaning of Asyate is, which resides for a long time. It is placed deep in the mamsa, is known as Asti. Mamsabhya antare iti. So the asti is the one which jolambe samay tak rakhe, which resides for a long time. Okay. And placed deep in the mamsa. Abhyantara. Andar tak mamsa ke bhitar rahe. Usse asti kehte hain. Thik hai. Abhi. Synonyms of asti. When we see the pariyaya, the asti ke pariyaya hum dekhte hain. Wo kaise hai? Matlab. Kilasam kulya masthim cha. Amar kosh ne kaha hai ki asti ke synonym hai. Kilasa kulya and asti itself. Okay, now when we come to the Nirukti of Asti, the definition of Asti, which states that Asyate iti Asti, the structure which stays for a long time is known as Asti. Jo lambe samay tak rahe, jo structure, usse Asti kehte hain, thik hai? Tasmat, chira vinasteshu, tvakmaam seshu sharir naam, Asti ni na vinashyanti, sara neta ni dehi naam. Okay, Aja Shushruta yaha kehte hain ki the Asti is the one which is long lasting component of the body, the one which lasts longer last longer is known as asti okay whereas structures like tvak mams and other parts of the body will degenerate prior to asti ye sab tvak aur mams se degenerate ho jata hai degenerate ho jata hai magar asti apne jagah par tika hua rehta hai to isliye asti is the long lasting component of the body hence the asti is also considered as sara sara anitani dehnam means it is considered as a sara the essence of the whole body okay now utpatti the formation of asti how the asti is formed let's see medo yat swagni naam pakpam vayu naam cha atishonitam tadasti sanya labate sa saraha sarva vigrahe here bhav prakash explains that medas medas which comes prior uh, prior to asti gets pak by its own agni and gets dried by vata forms ultimately the asti it is the sara of the body now again medusa agni prajayate okay according to dhatu utpatti krama when we see rasa rakta mamsa meda and asti from the meda the ultimately asti is formed by the dhatu utpatti krama and it is formed from meda dhatu so ultimately the asti is formed from the meda dhatu asti apne aap meda se form ho hi jata hai by the dhatu utpatti krama okay now again rasa raktam tato mamsa mamsa medas tato asti okay same the explanation is the formation of asti dhatu as well as its nourishment is done by Medha Dhatu. Now, Prithvi Vyagniya Nila Dinam Sanghatah Savoshmanakritah Kharatvam Prakarutyasyah Jayati Astitato Nudam Here Charaka in the Chikitsa Sthana states that Prithvi, Vayu and Agni etc. Jo Mahabhut hai by their own Ushma, by their own Agni becomes Sanghata attains compactness, attains hardness apne, apne aapko sthir kar lete ho Kharatva kar lete and they attain Kharatva, hardened, results in formation of Asti. Okay, kaun kaun se mahabhuta? Prithvi, Vayu or Agni. And then, Asti is formed from the Pitruja Bhava Vaya. As we have learned in the Garbha Sharira, Asti is formed from Pitruja, paternal. Okay, and as it is hard in nature, so it is a paternal Garbha Utpataka Bhava, Pitruja Abhayava. So, now, when we see the Asti Swarupa, Asti Swarupa, structure of Asti, Asti Prithvi Anilat Matram means, the predominant Mahabhuta in the Asti is Prithvi and Anila. Okay. Asti is formed by the predominant Mahabhuta of Prithvi and Anila. Anila is nothing but a Vata. Okay. Now, Dosha Adhisthana of Asti is. Kaunsa Dosha present in Asti, asti mein? Adhisthana kaunsa hai? Vata Dosha. Okay. Then, Asti Dhatu Mala. Mala of Asti Dhatu is Kesha and Nakha. Hairs and Nails. Okay. Then we have studied that Asti is the Sara of 
सारा फसद आता है इस मज्जा मतलब अस्थि के बाद जो भी फॉर्म होता है मज्जा ना अभी देखो रस से रखता रक्त से माम से माम से मेरे मेरे से अस्थि अस्थि से मज्जा सो द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज फॉर्म आफ्टर द अस्थि अकॉर्डिंग टू धातु उत्पत्ति क्रम इज मज्जा धातु सो अस्थि धातु सारा इज मज्जा धातु नाउ स्थूल अस्थि शूच विशेषेण मज्जा अथवा अभ्यंतर राक्षत अथितरेशु सर्वेशाम स रक्त मेद उच्चते हियर आचार्य सुश्रुत सेस दैट द स्थूल अस्थि द लार्ज बोन द लार्ज बोन्स वंस आर ह्यूमरस फेमर एक्सेट्रा आर फिल्ड विथ मज्जा ओके आर फिल्ड विथ द बोन मैरो स्पेशली द वर्टिब्रे आर प्रेजेंट विथ द बोन मैरो वेयर एज द रिमेनिंग ऑल द बोन्स कैन रक्त स रक्त मेदा ओके रक्त एंड मेदा आर कंटेन बाय द रिमेनिंग ऑल द बोन्स वेयर एज द स्थूल अस्थि द लार्ज बोन्स आर कंटेन फिल्ड विथ द मज्जा एज यू ऑल नो नाउ नेक्स्ट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन थोड़ा सा ध्यान दीजिए यहाँ पे कि अस्थि कार्य क्या है इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ अस्थि वाई अस्थि इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन द बॉडी अगर हो सके तो बाहर कर लीजिए नहीं तो ये दो जो दो दो लाइन्स जो है श्लोक के इट शुड बी रिमेम्बर्ड ओके लेट्स सी अभ्यंतर गते ही सारे रथा तिष्ठंति भूरा अस्थि सारे स्थता देहा ग्रीयते देहिना गृह तस्मा चिरात्नष्टेशु त्वगमांस शरीण अस्थिनी नश्यंती साराणे देहिना मंसान्यत्र निबंधा शिरा स्नायुस्तता अस्तिया लंबन कृत्वा न शीरते पतति वा मीन्स सुश्रुत हि इज स्टेटिंग दैट ही ही यूज द सिमिली दैट हाउ द ट्रीज इज स्टैंडिंग फर्म इन द ग्राउंड ओके जैसे पेड़ अपने आप टिका हुआ रहता है जो क्योंकि उसके अंदर जो पार्ट है पित्त वो अपने आप को ऐसा स्थिर बना देता है ऐसा मतलब टिका हुआ रहता है कि मतलब We cannot even uh, shake it. Okay, like that only. He is comparing that firmness of the tree with the bones in the body. Okay, how the bones are uh, long enough and how they how they are hard enough so that it can support the whole body. Like that only, the tree is supporting it. Okay, though the other parts of the body get degraded, like skin, muscles, etc. But don't the bone takes a time. Okay, it's long lasting. Okay, it does not degrade or destroy very easily. Okay, let's see the explanation of the sloka here. Is just that the tree remains firm on the ground with the pith inside. Same is the body which is remains erect by the support of the bones. Okay, uh, clear? Eh? Now, though the skin and muscles get destroyed after some time, bone does not get destroyed. So, sari bhi snai bhi stata ha asti nyalam manam krutva na shirante patatim cha. So, it is considered. So, it is has. So, this can be considered as an essence. Sara ane tene dehi naam. Essence of the body. Okay, as the mams, sira and snail are supported by the acid, they do not get destroyed. Okay, they do not get destroyed or fall off. Okay, these are the supporting materials of mams, sira and snail. Now, astini deha dharanam magnya pus, magja pustimcha. Okay, astini deha dharanam magja pustimcha. Asti will support the body and also nourish the magja. The main function of asti is supporting the body, that is dharanam and nourishment of magja, that is bone marrow. Okay, now. द मेन पार्ट हियर इज अस्थि प्रकार द टाइप्स ऑफ अस्थि एक पंच विधा बी कपाल रचकतरणा बल नलक संगीता ओके अस्थि आर क्लासीफाइड इन टोटल फाइव टाइप्स विच आर कपला अस्थि फ्लैट बोन्स रचका अस्थि टीथ तरुणा अस्थि कार्टिलेज वलया अस्थि कर्ड बोन्स नलक अस्थि लॉन्ग बोन्स लेट सी वन बाय वन ओके ना वेन वी सी कपाल अस्थि द फ्लैट बोन्स हियर कपाल टू खरपर संगीता Acharya Dal has now commenting the Sushruta says the asti which has the shape of frying pan or broken earth pot. Okay, the the meaning of kapala, the little meaning of kapala is written by shira. Okay, all the shira bones are kapala. Okay, but here Dalhana says kharpara sangitaani kharpara is written by a broken earth pot. How see the uh, for example let's see the patella. Okay, how the patella is resembling. Okay, it like a broken bone. Okay, like scapula. Okay, broken earth pot. As you can see, the structure of the bone that it, it is zygomatic bone. See how the structure of bone is a broken earth pot or irregular shape. Bone. These are known as kapala asti. Okay, for the example of kapala asti stated by Sushitar, Desham, Janu, Netamba, Amsa, Ganda, Talu, Shankha, Shiraha, so kapala ani. Mean the bones which are flat and broad are called as kapala asti. The examples are Janu, that is patellar bone. Nitamba hip joint, amsa scapular bone, ganda zygomatic bone, okay or cheek bone, talu that is palate, okay shank the temporal bone, okay there is a temporal bone, temporal bone, okay and frontal bone and occipital bone that is back side, okay these are all considered as kapala asti flat bones. Now 
Ruchakasti. The second uh, type of word is Ruchakasti. Dashanastu Ruchakani. The word meaning of Ruchaka is itself a sharp. Okay, Ruchaka is nothing but sharp. Okay, sharp ones. The bones which are sharp in our body are nothing but teeth. Okay, the example of Ruchakasti is Dashanaha. Teeth. The teeth helps in process of mastication, chewing and cutting of food also helps in the taste of the food. We all know that. Okay, now the example of Ruchakasti is teeth. Okay, now let's see the Tarunasi. Tarunasi. The, the literal meaning of word Taruna. Okay, Taruna means a soft, elastic, malleable structure. Okay. Tarunani, Taruna Sangitani. The Dalhana again says that the word meaning of Taruna is malleable, which can be pulled out, which can be folded one, which, can, which is somewhat elastic in nature, known as Taruna. Which, uh, which, which type of bones are uh, Taruna in our body? Grana Karna Griyava Akshi Kosheshu Tarunani. Means the bones which are soft, elastic in nature are called Tarunasti. These are present at the Grana, there is a nose region. As you can see, the cartilages, nose, bone, okay, nasal bones are Tarunasti. Whereas ear bones, ear, uh, not only the ear ossicles, okay, the other cartilages part present outside the ear also, they are considered as Tarunasti. Grieve the neck region, the Akshi Kosha eye socket, okay, eye socket is immovable only, it is elastic in nature, so it is considered as Tarunasti. Ultimately, all the cartilages come under Tarunasti, okay. Now, Valayasthi. Valayasthi is nothing but Valayam Valayani. The Dalhaniya states that the bones which are circular in outline are called Valayasthi. Okay. Mainly here Dalhana is signifying that ribs. Okay. And we all know that vertebra is somewhat rounded in nature as you can see here. Okay. Okay. In the middle which carries the spinal cord are the vertebrae. Okay. Now, Pasha, Prusta, Uraha, Su Valayani. The examples are Pasha, Prusta, Uraha, Suvalayani. The curved and irregular bones are called Valayasti. These are present in Pashva, flanks or rib region, Prusta, Brack region which, are, which we have said as vertebrae and chest which are, chest, which are uh, ribs region, Uraha. These are all comes under Valayasti. Okay, Valayasti in terms of circular outlined bones. Okay, now Nalakasti. The long bones are known as Nalakasti which uh, uh, pure body ko zata cover karta hai, long bones. Okay, we see which are humorous. humorous. Let's see now. Okay, hastapad anguli talakota nalakadishu. Okay, these are the longs having tubular hollow spaces inside them, which is filled with asti majja. Okay, bone marrow. This part, let's uh, uh, slide this part. Now, this type of bones are mainly in hasta, hasta, upper limb, pad, lower limb, and anguli, phalanges, and metacarpal bones. Okay, metacarpal, metatarsal bones, these are all considered as nalakasi, the long bones. Okay, femur, humerus, ulna, radius, but, uh, tibia, fabula, the tarsal, the metatarsal, the phalanges, all these considered as nalakasi. Now, after the types of asti, let's see the asti sankhya, the number of bones dealt in different classics. According to Charaka, they are 360 in number, Sushruta, 300 in number, Ashtanga Sangraha, they are 360 in number. Now, in modern, we, get, we all know that it is 206. Okay. Now let's see the distribution. How these have been distributed according to different classics and modern as well. The shaka extremities, the sushita is considered 120. Whereas Tarika has divided into the upper limb and lower limb. Urdhva shaka and Adho shaka. 16 the Urdhva and Adho is 68. And the modern has 120. The trunk region 177. Charaka 140. Modern 50. Okay. The griva, the neck region, the cartilage are 13. Charaka 16. Modern 8. And the shira 50. Charaka 76 and modern 28. So total 300, 360 and 206 as you can see here. Okay. Now, when we see the distribution by a part, by naming a part and the number of bones per minute, let's see the bones of extremities now. Okay. Now, bones of extremities, for example, in Nakha, the nails are 20. Okay. By by deciding the phalanges, we can see that the, those are 20. The Pad Anguli, the phalanges are 30. Okay. And the Pad Adishthana, they are 2. Metatarsals are 2. Okay, they are saying, let's not consider, these are according to Charaka, okay. Just take a glance. You don't have to remember everything. We don't have to leave any point. If exam, okay. at least we have to know what it is. Okay. So, I am dealing every point according to NCISM syllabus. Okay. Um, teaching everything I can of a particular topic. Okay. So, just take a glance. Before going to exam, okay. The Padalistan are 12, Gulfa are uh, 4, okay. Parshni are 2, 
ಹಸ್ತಾಂಗುಲಿ ಆರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಹಸ್ತ ಶಾಲಾಕ ಆರ್ ಥ ಟೆನ್ ಹಸ್ತ ದಿಷ್ಟಾನ ಆರ್ ಟು ಮಣಿಕ ಆರ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮಣಿಕ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂತರ್ಜಂಗ ಆಸ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೀಬಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ನಾವು ಬಹಿರ್ಜಂಗ ಆಸ್ತಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಟೇಲ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಜಾನು ಕಪಾಲ ಆಸ್ತಿ ಜಾನು ಪಾಲಿಕ ಕಪಾಲಿಕ ಆರ್ ಟು ಉರವ ನಲಕ ಉರವ ನಲಿಕ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಮರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆರ್ ಟು ಅಂತ ಪ್ರಕೋಷ್ಠೇಶು ಆರ್ ಅಲ್ನಾ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬಹಿರ್ ಪ್ರಕೋಷ್ಠೇಶು ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಪರ ಆಸ್ತಿ ವಿ ಕನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮರಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಹು ನಲಕ ಆರ್ ಟು ದ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರಂಕ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಶರೀರ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೋನಿ ಫಲಕ ಆರ್ ಟು ಭಗ ಆಸ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಹಿಪ್ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ನಾವು ತ್ರಿಕ ತ್ರಿಕ ಇಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅನುತ್ರಿಕ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫೈಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರಸ್ಟಾಸ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ದ ವರ್ಟಿಬ್ರಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫೈ ಇದೆ ಪ್ರಸ್ಟಾಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಪಾರ್ಶುಕ ಆರ್ಬುದ ಪಾರ್ಶುಕ್ ಸ್ಥಲ ಪಾರ್ಶುಕ್ ಸ್ಥಲಾಕ ಓಕೆ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ರಿಬ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಉರೋಸ್ಥಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಉರೋಸ್ಥಿ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟರ್ಣಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಕ್ಷಕಾಸ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಟು ಅಂಸ ಆರ್ ಟು ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಸ ಫಲಕ ಆರ್ ಇದ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಪುಲ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ನಾವು ದ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ ಶಿರೋಗ್ರೀವ ಗ್ರೀವ ಆಗತ ಅಸ್ಥಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಜತ್ರು ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಹನ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡಿಬಲ್ ಹನು ಮೂಲ ಬಂದ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡಿಬಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಲ ಜಾಯ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಶಿರಕಪಾಲ ದ ಶಿರಕಪಾಲ ಇಸ್ ನಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಫ್ರಂಟಲ್ ಫ್ರಂಟಲ್ ಪರಾಯಿಕಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಓಕೆ ತಾಲ್ ವಾಸ್ತಿ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಲಟೈನ್ ಬೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಂಖಾಸ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಬೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ನ್ಯಾಸಲ್ ಬೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಗಂಧಕೂಟ ಲಲಾಟ ಪ್ಯಾಲಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಪಾಲ ದೇರೋಜಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಂತ ಆರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಂತ ದುಲುಕಲ ಆರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಜತ್ರ ಕಾದ ಅಂತ ಆಸ್ತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆರ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾ ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿ ದ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಹೌ ದ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಕೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇನ್ ದ ಬೋನ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೋನ್ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಭಗ್ನ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಭಗ್ನ ಐಟಮ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೋನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ಕಟಂ ಅಶ್ವಕರ್ಣ ಚೂರ್ಣಿಟಂ ಪಿಚ್ಚಿತಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಚ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಚಲಿತಂ ಕಾಂಡಭಗ್ನ ಮಧ್ಯಾನುಗತ ಅತಿಪಾತಿತಂ ವಕ್ರಂ ಛಿನ್ನ ಪಾಟಿತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಫುಟಿತಂ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗ್ನ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಹವೆವರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಇಯರ್ ನಾ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಅಕ್ಷಿ ಕ್ಷಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಓಕೆ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಲೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಕ್ಷಯ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಫಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೇಶ ಲೋಮ ನಖ ಶ್ಮಶ್ರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಂತ ಕೇಶ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ದ ಹೇರ್ ಫಾಲಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೇರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೋಮ ಆರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಹೇರ್ಸ್ ನಖ ಆರ್ ನೇಲ್ಸ್ ಶ್ಮಶ್ರು ಈ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಬಿಯರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಂತ ಆರ್ ಟೀತ್ ಓಕೆ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಲಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಅಕ್ಷಿಕ್ಷ ಆಪ್ಸ್ ಅಕ್ಷಿಕ್ಷ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಕ್ಷಯ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪರ್ಸ